You don't. You miss me, sweetheart. What? Nothing to say. If you are here, then Washington is safe. True, true. Thing is, I believe I've just been pardoned. Thank you kindly for the rescue, gents. There can be no further mistakes, Thomas. Am I understood? What about this, the assassin? Yeah. He's here. They put him in a cell right next to mine. Guess we didn't get them all, eh? Slipped it in his pocket real quick when he saw me. Looked like a key. Probably just a shiv. Nah. Mason ain't a fighter. Always talking and tricking his way out of trouble. Weasel weems, they call him. Stinky bastard. Come on, Finch. He's not so bad. Even taught me some letters once. Gonna write a note to my lady. Ha! What for? You think that whore's out there pining for you? Saving herself for when you get out? Huh? No doubt she's already moved on to the next fella, and the fella after him. You shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Easy now. It was just a joke. Yeah? Well, it wasn't very funny. Trouble, or you'll wind up in the pit. I have not heard of it. There are might on the party side. What are you looking at, half breed? Trouble, you'll wind up in the pit. At the old plow. The John and Robert will both attend, so it would be the whole plan. Well, he has certainly gone down since his accident. Not so far enough. No, I haven't ventured up that far yet. The Ohio people. What are you looking at, half breed? You not understand English? That it? I need to knock some sense into that thick head of yours. I should try and find this Weems fellow. If he intends to escape, perhaps he can help me. Mason Weems? Could be. I need your help. Oh? They say you know a way out of here. They say a lot of things. I do not have time for games. Shame. 
As I was hoping you might play one with me. Fine. Are you familiar with the rules? Seeing as you already know mine, what's your name? Connor. Pleased to meet you, Connor. Well played. So, what brings you to Bridewell? Treachery. I have been falsely accused. Of course you have. You do not believe me? Why should I? You've the look of a brute. <laughs> you misjudge. I'm an honest man. And yet, also a man imprisoned. Tell me how you found yourself in this place. It is a private matter. As is what you ask of me. I was trying to prevent a murder. Oh! Anyone I know? George Washington. The others put you up to this, didn't they? Thought it might be fun to have another laugh at Mason's expense. Fools, a lot of them. To make light of something like this? Yes, we did. George Washington is brave beyond measure. Loyal like a brother, peerless in character, and unshakable in his convictions. That man is our Jupiter Conservator. Destined to lead us not just to freedom, but greatness. Anyone who says otherwise is either a simpleton or a traitor. Then you understand why I need to get out of here. If I don't help him, he is going to die. So as to ensure a supply of tall oaks before the Navy went down. Ah, the 
lad was trying to recreate the peat smoke they used back home to flavour the malt when this American variety caught fire with too much gumption. All right, scoundrels, back in your cells! At. You in the market for us, Ben? Useless. What do you mean? It did not fit the lock. It's not meant to. You forged a key that does not work. Well, that all depends on what you mean by work. It'll get us out of here. Just not the way you expected. Then how? You're going to use it to get the real key off the warden. You have to swap yours for his. Why not just have me take the real key? Why all this extra work? You might notice if it went missing. This way, there'll be none... Swine, suckling at the teats of civilization, thieves and scoundrels all. And do you acknowledge this? Do you repent?
Need to take care not to raise the alarm. You'll find Hickey through that door. It's where they keep the important prisoners. Nicer rooms, more space, those sorts of things. It seems even in prison, who you know makes all the difference. Prepare to flee. 